Good day to you, Clock House. This is my salon. This is where I usually am when I'm not at school. It seemed a fitting place to teach you the practicals. Today, I have assisted me some of the girls from the salon. The first braid we're gonna do is the robe braid. But one thing I do wanna talk to you about a little bit, each day, prepare your station, whether it's a tabletop, a dresser, whatever you're using, prepare it just like you're setting up for TDLR. You'll notice that I'm set up because I don't want you to get out of the habit of it. You're getting close to the end and you need to be able to set up because when you go into the salon, it's a must. So right away, we're gonna start now with the rope braid. Let's begin. You will need rubber bands and we pre-brushed it, we pre-treated it. We put some of the Mazzani oil on it after we blew it dry. And then when we were flattening, flat ironing it, we used Hot Sets 22 and it made it nice and smooth so that you can get right through it. Now, if you want to begin, Taylor, <coughs> let's go ahead and pick up the hair. We take two sections to begin with. She's gonna do a side one. The ponytail's gonna be coming down the side. And I'll stop talking in a minute and let you just intensely watch her fingers as she does this. Go ahead and begin. See that she picks up two pieces. Then before she twists, she takes another piece and picks it up. Twist, pick up a piece. Twist, pick up a piece, and this is how the situation goes. She will measure the hair so that she ends down here at the nape of the neck, and she will have all the hair in. The technique changes somewhat when you get to the end of it. So let's watch her as she does this. Just for a couple of minutes, it will not take her but a second. Continue. Notice it's very methodical. Pick up a piece, twist it. Watch the twist. Pick up a piece. She's going over to pick up some of the other hair. She's trying to measure it. Twist it. You see the twist? Very easy. You may want to just get your mannequin and do this on your long-haired mannequin as she does it. And you can stop and start the video and watch it over and over as you learn how to do this. If you're excited about all yours and you want to email your finished product to me, feel free to do so. I'm happy to see what you've done and it'll keep us more connected if you do that. Are you watching? She's getting close to the bottom. Notice she's holding her hands down. I want you to see under here that she's holding her hands down close to the neck so that she doesn't have a big drop. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute when she finishes. Now, if you make a mistake along the way, uh, there's not hardly any mistakes in this, but I'll show you how to smooth them in and fit them in. You see how it's spinning it clockwise, counterclockwise. Just watch her fingers. Are you watching? See, she's got it. It's a beautiful rope. This is a beautiful rope here. And look at this. And we're going to come back and make a hair style out of it. Just using a plain little elastic hair tie, and then I'm going to show you some hair techniques on it. I told you we'd make a 
chignon and hairstyle. I'm going to go in and loosen this up some. And it actually makes it look prettier because it's looser. I, I have a funny story to tell you. My daughter-in-law had done a braid in her hair one day. And she thought it was a very neat braid. But as the day went along, it loosened up. And so she was in the store, and this lady walked up, and she said, how do you do a messy braid like that? And she said, uh, uh, I did a loose, I did a regular one, and it loosened up. <laughs> so when you loosen up, it changes the hairstyle. And so we're going to take this in here. I'm going to pin this underneath with a couple of hairpins. It won't take you just a second. And when we're in the lab, this will count as an updo. You might want to leave a couple of little strings out on the side to do yours or whatever. But then we're going to continue to loosen it out some. I'm taking the hairpin and I'm pulling it out some. Some people don't like ends sticking out. I like them. I think they're part of the style. And so I'm going to stick it out there on purpose. I'm going to continue. If you will take a hairpin and fold it in half like this, and these are some pretty strong hairpins, it will stay in. It won't fall out. Now, in five minutes, you have a cute little updo. You could go anywhere. You could go to church. You can go to school. You could go shopping. Whatever you want to do. And you have a cute hairstyle that's going to stay with just hairpins. Isn't she cute? 